Marcus, during the uh, high school re recruiting days, uh, everybody wanted you uh, from Chapel Hill to Georgetown to UCLA and so on and so forth. Uh, Dick Vital, Mr. Vital, who actually is a, a Florida gentleman, um, he coined the phrase, he used the uh, give me liberty or give me death. Um, take us into that thought process and what that was like and what that was like for you. It was, it, to hear it, uh, when I replayed the McDonald All-American game, because that's what he said. It. He, he said it in the McDonald All-American game that Lou Henson and the, the, and, and the fans at Illinois are down there screaming, Lou Henson is screaming, give me liberty or give me death. And that just stuck, you know, with me. So I even named some of my things that I do. You know, I got a T-shirt, give me liberty, give me death, uh, or give me death. Uh, so Dick Vitale was the one that coined that and gave me that on national TV of how Lou Henson was crying, give me liberty or give me death. The Big Ten in those days, what was it like? How competitive was it? The Big Ten was a, is, a, is a physical conference. I try to tell people that uh, when you watch it, you know, it's, it's grimy. It's kind of grimy a little bit. Uh, a lot of defense is being played. And, and some teams try to, you know, run and gun, run and gun, but it, it doesn't work as much. Like people saw us play at the University of Illinois they thought we were we we were a running team, but how we got our buckets were from defense. You know, we had to play the good defense to get up and down the court because we wasn't that big. We wasn't that big. We were probably the smallest team in the Big Ten at the time. Thank you.